Yeah. What? You might have bought some more fleece. It's just a little bit. There might be some in there as well. <laughs>
Adam's doing his kitchener of his sock. Very proud of you, Adam. It's nearly there. <laughs> you can see Jean's basket she bought here. It's lovely. Hi, everybody. I'm back from Fibre East, and I'm going to show you my confessions. There are quite a few. And I think there may be two coffee tables worth. So I'm going to... I've laid out my first set to show you, and it's full of yarn and sort of bits and bobs. Um related to all sorts and then I've got a second load and that will be mainly fleece so just warning you <laughs> so these are my purchases well these are the yarns and the bits and bobs section there will be another table full later <laughs> let's start with the yarns over here so I picked up these two lovely skeins from Julie at Suffolk Socks so I had to have some yarn tart yarn <laughs> Um, this is in the rosebush colourway and it's a BFL nylon base and it's got some beautiful subtle tones of greens and pinks and browns in there. don't know what I'm going to do with it yet but I just had to have it. <laughs> I picked up a skein of Regia Perfect and it's in a sort of colourway that looks quite Christmassy. Adam picked these so I've got to knit those for him for ready for Christmas so I better get working on those. Um, Julie at Suffolk Socks also has these gorgeous pins on her stall so I had to have these I'm a yarn tart because I am <laughs> and Lady Stash love it and there's the lovely Suffolk socks symbol as well um, absolutely loved chatting to Julie we first met at the um, the Norwich meetup last week and we really got on really well so hope to meet up again soon so, next on the list is some beautiful Cartreff yarn, and I picked this up from the Owl About Yarn stall, where um, Jenny and also Zoe from Pins and Needles uh, worked together to collect um, lovely fleeces, which were then spun into this beautiful yarn, and then Jenny's dyed it up. And this is a beautiful cherry red colour. Um, I don't know what... Oh, it's called Drake. I do have a colour card upstairs somewhere, so I'll have to have another look at those, what the different colours that they do as well. But isn't that lovely? Lovely and lofty, perfect for a hat, I think. I did see that um, Jenny and Zoe had got some beautiful hats on there as samples, and I think, yes, that's got to be a hat too. I've got some lovely coral coloured yarn from Haley from Ducky Darlings and this is a merino nylon base and this is a one of a kind that I saw on her stall and I thought oh, I've got to get it there's only one I need it <laughs> and it's a lovely bright corally colour really nice and bright and cheerful so that'll be lovely I also picked up some Katia socks um, and this what this is the colourway that this pair is going to be. I thought that that would be nice for Adam. And then there's two 50 gram um, balls wound up ready to knit in there. So I'm quite excited to have a go at those. Um, down here you can see I've got a little tin. And actually I'm wearing my wrist ruler that I picked up. Um, I can't remember the name of the stall that I got it from. But I will pop it on the screen for you now. I then went to pearlescence and I picked up some chowgoo needles um, because basically my friend Claire was using them and I copied her. <laughs> so I saw that she'd got some really fine cables. Obviously the needles aren't in here but they're over there and I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but I picked those up from pearlescence and they've got a good range of chowgoo needles. Um, and I'll also give you a review on what I think of these in the next podcast as well. 
moving on to this little selection here. Um, so I saw Michelle on the loveliest yarn company stall and she was selling so many lovely bits and bobs and she's got a load of new beautiful colours in her new Banshee yarns range. Um, and I did mean to go back and get some but I completely got sidetracked. Um, but I did pick up the beautiful pin which is the um, Cat and Bag range and it's a little kitten that says your yarn broke but isn't that a cute colour and it's sparkly too I don't think you can really see how sparkly it is um, as it is in real life there and then oh my goodness these are stitch markers but they're gold and silver I had to have some absolutely I'm trying to open these in one hand now <laughs> But I haven't, I've actually had a couple out of here, so they're not all in there, but aren't they gorgeous? I was walking around and my friend Rob picked these up and I was like, yep, I'm having some of those too. <laughs> so that's all from Michelle at the Loveliest Yarn Company. And then I saw this block printing. So this shop's called Block Craft and they had some beautiful hand carved wooden blocks um, so that you can make stamp um, well, stamp fabrics and I picked up some different coloured um, inks as well ready to have a go with those but I thought I might be making some bags for the shop with those I thought that might be quite fun um, so those um, hopefully get to use those at the weekend we'll see um, actually I won't because I'm going to the quilt show this weekend so it'll have to wait a little bit longer this actually was my last purchase but I'm going to show it to you now because it's in the middle there isn't that beautiful it's a yarn bowl and it's by a lovely lady called Emily Cross and she's Emily Cross ceramics and you can see their details of her social media etc but she had a beautiful stall of all different yarn bowls and this is the one that I absolutely fell in love with beautifully handmade with gorgeous dragonflies all the way around so I had to have it it was quite an expensive purchase, but you know, it's quite big. Um, I don't think you can really see how large it is here. So I've, I've probably put a skein of yarn. You can see that it's a large bowl. Um, I don't actually think I can put anything in it because you won't be able to see this lovely interior here, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but it's gorgeous. I'm so pleased with that. Um, so on to my things that I was given. So these are my lovely gifts that I got from the show. So first of all, this one. This, these two balls here I got given by my lovely friend Lorraine. And she dyed this colourway up, especially for Fibre East. I don't think you can really see it in the shadow there properly. The pink isn't coming up as bright as it is in real life. Um, but I started knitting those already and it's got a lovely bright yellow to do the contrast heels. Um, I've already knitted quite a lot of the sock tube so we're going to have to actually do afterthought heels in there. Um, and you can see that I've started to use the needles and cable set that I bought from um, Pearl Essence. And oh, I'm loving how soft this cable is because I normally use higher hires. Um, but I just fancied to try a different pair and these are really good. I like them so far. I got a beautiful skein of yarn from Ducky Darlings and she dyed this especially for Fiber East. Um, so I'm excited to cast those on as well. I got these beautiful little minis from Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful. And I love how she's labelled the yarn, dodgy yarn. Um, all pooling, bleeding and splodges, including free of charge. <laughs> I think that's brilliant. But it, it looks perfect to me. And this one's called Fahrenheit. And it's 75% wool, 25% nylon. And I don't know what she's... Is this called something different? Kite Surfer. So these are gorgeous, Ali. And then they're definitely not dodgy at all. <laughs> I got this beautiful little hand dyed skein from my friend Claire and she's not normally a hand dyer and I think she's done a brilliant job there um, and she put in a lovely little pack with some sweeties and these gorgeous little face um, scrubbies but they're too nice to be face scrubbies Claire they're going to be little coasters on my windowsill I think because they're too pretty <laughs> 
I also wanted to mention that I saw this company which was um, Octopus for Premature Babies. Um, I think there's a contact details down the bottom here. So there was a company that were making little crocheted octopuses um, for little premature babies so that they can hold on to their little curly um, tentacles. I haven't got a picture of it here but you may have seen it in the vlog videos. And the little babies hold on to the little curly tentacles that they make um, and it, it stops them from playing with the tubes um, that they have to have to give oxygen, I think. Um, but I thought that was a lovely little charity. So um, I'll put the details in the show notes as well so you can see them. But they need to be made out of particular yarns so that they're not rough on the baby or anything like that. So there we go. And I actually have some Adam purchases. So he bought a lovely skein of yarn from Ducky Darlings in the blind date colourway. And it's a lovely squishy merino and nylon um, yarn. And it's a four ply as well. I think he wants to make another pair of socks with this one. And he actually bought one of these ruler um, bracelets as well. But he got the dark brown colour um, to be look a bit more manly, I suppose. <laughs> So there we go, that's table one of my purchases. I shall go and get the table set up for table layout number two. So this is table two of my Confessions from Fibre East. Oh dear. <laughs> so this is coming out a little bit blown out, but this is some um, undyed Polworth that I picked up. I haven't actually spun with Polworth, but I've knitted some socks with some Polworth yarn and I loved it. I thought it's got that nice balance between sort of smooth and lofty. I've also got some BFL and Silk Mix, which I've got ready to, to have a play with some dye. Um, a lot of these are from John Arban Textiles, so the ones all the way down there, all up to there, this is all from John Arban. This one is an alpaca and merino mix, which, look, it's got a bit of teal in it, which is unusual, isn't it, for me? <laughs> and yet another uh, teal colour. I think this one was Corridale, but I'm not 100% sure. Because they're not labelled, I haven't always remembered things correctly. Um, but we've got some beautiful red burgundy colours there. Uh, this, I think, is probably a Corridale or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure this sort of deep, dusky pink one is too. Um, and then I, don't, I definitely know that this stripy one is a Corridale. Um, it's got a really nice staple length, so I think that'll spin up nicely. And I thought that this was really unusual for me. It's quite a dark base with some hints of um, colours in there. I think that that works really well. Um, some yellow and pink and pastel colours in this one. Some fiery red and orange there. I think that was very unusual for me. But I thought, do you know what? I think that that will be quite fun to spin. I then picked this up from Spin City because of all that sparkle. I'm not sure how that's coming up on the camera. But I saw it from a distance across the room and I had to have it. I picked up this gorgeous um, plait of fibre from Owl About Yarn. And this is interesting because there's some trilobal, which I've never tried before. So it's 12.5% super bright trilobal. So it's a type of nylon that has a little bit of sparkle, but it's not so in your face um, as Stellina. So I thought that'd be quite fun. So it's got some um, silk and merino in there. Um, and I love these colours. I don't think they're coming up quite accurately they're a little bit more pinker than it is coming up on the camera but it's gorgeous anyway i picked up this plait from cat and sparrow um, and this is just such a lovely delicate mixture of um, the turquoise and grey and dusky pinks in there and it's a blue face leicester and um, wensleydale mix and exmoor blue face as well which is interesting um, so that's 100 grams. See, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with any of these. They're all um, 100 gram pieces, though. 
So these last two I picked up from a store called Wool Tops. And do you know what? I can't actually remember what they are. <laughs> but they're so gorgeous, lovely shades of grey. And I thought they'd be loads of fun to spin too. So there we are, last shot of all my lovely fiery purchases. Um, and that makes me look like a very greedy, yarny person. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the little vlog that I've posted. Um, we did actually stay overnight in the Holiday Inn, which was sort of 10-15 minutes drive from the Fiber East venue. Um, and we were actually staying in the same hotel as Zoe from Pins and Needles and Jenny from Owl About Yarn. And we got to chat to those for a bit on Saturday nights, which was fun. Forgot to take my camera though, so I'm afraid I didn't get any footage, but um, I know Zoe did. So if you pop over to Pins and Needles, our YouTube channel, you might see a little bit of footage of what we got up to on the Saturday night. So um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I shall see you in the next vlog. Bye! <laughs>